One of the things that I've started noticing uh, as I've been driving my Bronco is that there's some vibration in the back end while I'm driving. This isn't necessarily just, uh, you know, your, your pinion angle, but your pinion angle is a great place to start to check. Welcome back to the garage, the place where we are making your Bronco. I forgot what I was gonna say. Hey, if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. I'm putting out how-to videos for the weekend mechanic and doing the Bronco entertainment for the Bronco community. Now today what we're talking about is pinion angles. Now you might ask, what is a pinion angle? Well, the pinion angle is the difference between the drive shaft angle and the angle of the pinion on the differential. One of the things that I've started noticing uh, as I've been driving my Bronco is that there's some vibration vibration in the back end while I'm driving. Now this could be a ton of things, but your pinion angle is a great place to start to check because what happens is you put that lift on your Bronco and it drops the back tires down, it drops the differential down, which makes that drive shaft at a steeper angle. So that's what I'm gonna check today. Now here's what I want you guys to do. I know a lot of you are sitting in quarantine. Get out there and check your pinion angle just the same and post it in the comments below. I'm actually just really curious what other people's Broncos pinion angle is. So post uh, your lift, uh, go ahead and post your tire size as well, and then your pinion angle. And I just want to see, and if you've like done an upgraded drive shaft or something like that, put that in there. But I just want to see like how do we compare, what are the differences, and all that good stuff. All right, let's check it out. Finding the drive shaft angle is easy. If you picture there's an imaginary line at zero degrees going across the top of the drive shaft, then the angle is what the drive shaft is going down at. You're just gonna put a protractor on the drive shaft and this is the angle. And in this case, it's about 22 degrees. Next, we're gonna find the differential angle. We're gonna use the face of the yoke. So first, we're gonna remove the drive line to get access to the yoke without anything in the way. Then, we're gonna measure this angle. Simply put the protractor on the face of the yoke. Now, I grabbed something flat to hold on the face of the yoke to hold my protractor up against. Now, since we're measuring vertically, this isn't from zero degrees, this is actually from 90 degrees. And so here we get about 78 degrees. Now, if we subtract 78 from 90, we get 12 degrees. And so this means that our differential is at a 12 degree difference. So for from our drive shaft, we have 22 degrees. And then from our differential, we have 12 degrees. And that is a difference of 10 degrees, which means our pinion angle is right about 10 degrees. So now that I know I've got about 10 degrees of pinion angle, I'm gonna throw in these shims from Tom's Bronco Parts. Now, uh, there's a lot of debate on what is the right amount of pinion angle, like what you should have. Uh, I've heard two degrees, I've heard three degrees, I've heard four degrees. Um, the most common one that I've heard is about two degrees. So. Uh, this is a six degree shim. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below where you can pick one up. And it's, you know, I'm at 10 degrees, so hopefully it'll get me to about four degrees of pinion angle, which is just, it's better than 10. And like I said, I've got this vibration in the back end, and I'm thinking that this is gonna take care of a lot of it. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's gonna take care of it. Now, it is important to say, if you guys are stock, if you're just, you know, if you've never added a lift or anything like that, you probably don't need these. You probably have a pretty good pinion angle already. This is more for guys who have done a lift. So 
So this is the uh, the bolt that's going through there right now. This one's a little bit longer for the six degree shim. So what's tricky is this bottom of the bolt, it's just a circle. So there's nothing to really grab onto when you're loosening this. And I mean, you're only supposed to tighten this down to about 30 foot pounds. So it's not super tight, but just keep in mind, you might have to get creative in pinching this thing to loosen it up. Do that, see? All right, so keep in mind when we are putting this in that we want the thick side to be going towards the front because we want to lift up the front of our differential so it's pointing more at the transfer case. So you see that? Looks pretty good, right? Wrong! <laughs> this is going to point in my uh, pinion angle worse than what it is. So this is six degrees backwards. So that's the back of the vehicle. That is the front of the vehicle. And I just put that in backwards. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, for some reason I thought, oh yeah, like it should be angled this way, but that'll make it worse. It should be angled this way. So I get to redo that one, but it was pretty easy. Like I just put the nut on top and just sucked it in. And uh, now remember, this is only 30 foot pounds of torque, so you don't need to uh, crank on that a lot. I put my uh, clamps too close to the hole, so I guess I'll loosen the clamps. Thirty foot pounds right there. All right. Now with our six degree shims in place. So uh, now it says that I am at seventy three point nine degrees. I was at a. Uh, like 78, so now I'm at 74, so it was about four degrees. Um, so not a whole six degrees like I thought, but what that 74 means is that overall, instead of being 10 degrees off, or being 10 degrees uh, right here at the bend, now I am six degrees at the bend. I mean, really, if you're doing it, um, you know, and you're way off. What you're gonna do is grind those well, uh, the, the spring perches, you're gonna grind those off and re-weld them at the correct degree, but we're not doing that today because we just gained four degrees. So we're gonna reattach the old drive shaft and take it for a drive. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I actually thought that I put it on backwards um, again, like that I'd put it on. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. I, I did it right. But yeah, leave it in the comments. Like what is your measurements? I wanna see your guys' measurements. Hopefully this video is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.